Zach Stefan. The whole of Twitter had opinions about um, his blunder uh, mm-hmm. for Sadio Mane's first goal yesterday. Um, I want to ask your opinions about this. It, it is Are we making a storm in a teacup? Is this as big a catastrophe as, as we're led to believe? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, uh, on some level. It, it, the, it's a huge catastrophe because you the higher l- the level you go, the less room for error you get, right? Because the quality gets better around you, the less opportunities you get if you make those errors. You go back to the FA Cup last year when he made a mistake of sort of coming off his line, getting caught in between lines. And now, granted, they got in behind and kind of got stuck and maybe could have made the save if he had stayed on, stayed kind of in front of the goal mouth. Um, and he made that mistake and was criticized. But this one was a this one was an odd one just because of the fact that like he was so calm and casual that I don't know how he didn't see in his peripheral that somebody is coming at full speed. And then you add that kind of uh, uh, insult to injury or injury, whatever the phrase is, uh, on the <laughs> third the third goal that that beats him to the near post. A fantastic strike and a quick release, and you know, uh, well placed near the post, but. You know, you start to look at that through a different lens and go, man, should he had saved that? Would he, should he be in better positioning? I mean, he's been beat at his near post on a, on a little clip to the back post. He should have had time to get over further to, to cut that angle off. But the more alarming thing is the fact that you just quickly, I, I don't know why we think it's okay to have goalkeepers that don't play matches, but it's not okay to have field players that don't play matches. What's the difference? Well, if anything, it's the most dangerous position to have somebody who's not firing on all cylinders. And that's not Zach Steffen's fault. And I do like the idea that this is where he gets, a, gets his games because you see that uh, generally across the board. And some, some teams change it when they get to the semis and finals and whatnot. But the fact that he's not getting a good run of games, the fact that he's, he's, he's been in and out of injuries so far this year uh, is a little bit alarming for, for U.S. men's national team fans and just Man City alike, right? You, you've got to look at that and you know, and uh, Graylish said nice things about him after and saying, you know, we're, we're, we stand by him and all those kinds of things. But for him, take all of that away. It, he's still got to also process this and either leverage this to get better and learn from it or this could haunt you. You know, these are the kinds of things because it's FA Cup semifinal. Everybody's watching, you know, around the world. Everybody's going to remember this whole thing. You know what's going to happen next year on his first game? And then the next game and the next game that he plays, people are going to talk about it, whether in the broadcast or otherwise. Now, let's not forget what happened last year, you know. And this year, they talked about what happened to him the year before. And you don't want to get the reputation of uh, of that. Not that reputations mean anything to, to a player on the field, but it is a little bit worrying just the circumstances of him not getting a ton of time, his constant uh, issues with, um, you know, the muscle spasms and, and and back issues that I think he's having and and kind of what that means going into the next six months before the World Cup. Yeah, just I don't want to just dwell on this for too long, but you mentioned that you're worried about the lack of minutes for any of the goalkeepers. Um, well, the current crop who have been called in to, to the qualifying rosters. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, the one player who, or the one goalkeeper a lot of people are talking about is um, Gabriel Slonina, another mm-hmm. clean sheet in the weekend. He's it's the like only five one. Five out of seven, right? It's like five clean sheets of seven so far this year. So with with that in mind, I know he's still very young and it's probably premature to talk about bringing him into the, the final roster for the World Cup, but June's right around the corner. Is Does it make sense to to finally give him a, a run of games? Or? I, I would like, use him. I would use him for games. I mean, you, you go back to... You go back to like the early days when we had Bill Hamid, who was young. We had uh, Sean Johnson, who was young in the national team. Brad Brad Gazan was young in the national team. You know, you had a lot of these guys and, you know, you want to get them some games. And and none of those guys were ever number ones until they, I mean, Gazan was for for a good while, but that was post Tim Howard. But he spent a, a good amount of time being the second one in line to get games that, you know, no one's looking at Gabriel Slanina going like, He's not like he's you get five clean sheets for a reason. Now, they can be circumstantial where you're playing against a team on their worst day and maybe you get one or two that way or you're playing, you know, your back line is the best in the world. And I don't think that's the case. at Chicago Fire. He's still having to make saves and do things that keep his team in, in game. So I think certainly get him a, a few looks or get him a few games uh, at least to just see how he responds. Right. Same thing with Matt Turner. Matt Turner. We didn't know what he was going to be. Uh you know, you go back to Matt Turner's story, and he was like he was training on the sidelines of 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 the Revs games before he got his. Like everybody's waiting for their moment to prove themselves, is I guess is what I'm getting to. So why not if you're going to go and you're going to split time with goalkeepers, let him be one of the ones that gets gets uh, a half, 
and you're going to have two goalkeepers likely not playing uh, come come summertime and into the fall. So if you have one that's at least playing, get him get him some minutes and and some uh, some valuable experience. 